This is what you have to do to open up the floodgates of deals. Hey, what's up? Rafael Cortez back on the Wholesale Business Blueprint series. I want to talk to you about the concept of stacking, stacking your actions. Before I do that, I want to ask you that if you're liking the content that we're putting out there every single week for you uh, to subscribe, all right? So hit that button, subscribe, share it, tell everybody you know about it, and push the message forward. Now, moving on, let's talk about stacking your actions. Uh, there's this thing in coaching that I like to uh, to talk about a lot, which is um, stacking the deck. All right, it's the concept of stacking the deck, uh, for lack of a better term. But what it is, it's uh, doing consistent actions over a period of time, and then having the results just start popping. So. Um, one thing where it works marvelously, it's going to be in the lead generation side of things. This is, uh, this is the, uh, it's a pretty cool phenomenon because when you do it right, you have a period of consistent action where, where there's not a lot of results, right? So you feel like you're not really moving the needle and then next thing you know, boom, 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 the deals start popping. And that's the stacking effect. It usually takes anywhere from 60 to 75 days on average for leads uh, to start pulling the trigger on something, all right? So you're gonna talk to somebody, uh, they now turn into a prospect and you're having this educated conversation with them about numbers, about offers, about what you can potentially do, yet they don't wanna pull the trigger right now. Statistically, it's been shown that it takes five contacts for somebody to pull the trigger, all right? For somebody to even uh, think about you know, working with you and whatnot, it's gonna take a couple of times of reaching out, but by the fifth time or sixth time, they feel more comfortable with you. You're top of mind, right? You've been at it, you've been exposed to them for, for a longer period of time, now it's just more comfortable to make that decision, right? So for that to happen, the way that we have it worked out in the Wholesale Business Blueprint is, um, it takes about 60 to 75 days. So what you see is a couple of months of uh, just building action, building action and stacking the deck, stacking the leads, stacking the conversations, the follow-ups, the potential deals and the excitement all the anticipation of a deal coming through and then boom next thing you know you get hit day between day 60 and 75 it's usually when it happens but you get hit with multiple deals uh, and it's not because you just woke up that day and then you were better at closing that one day uh, it's not it's because you've been uh, working for this kind of results for the last couple of months and the actions have been stacked all right so now you're stacking the follow-ups you're stacking the prospects that leads the conversations and then they start popping again the reason that works it's because it usually takes about five contacts for somebody to pull the trigger with you, all right? So, it, of course, they have to be good contacts, good conversations. You know, the deal's got to make sense. There's got to be a solution and all that stuff in there. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really consistency that gives you that stacking effect. All right, so if you're starting dry uh, with your lead generation, you know, trying to find sellers and whatnot, it's going to take you um, a period of time to get to, uh, to that first deal, all right? Why? Because... People build up comfort again for the most part. And sometimes you'll get lucky and then you'll you'll hit something within the first couple of weeks uh, and then get a contract and that sort of thing, right? But it's not um, it's not a model that you can you can um, rely on to build a business. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is build a business, build something that's predictable, and the way that you do it is through consistency and the stacking effect that consistency gives you. So if you start dry, it's gonna take you a period of time to get to you know 60 days. Uh, 75 days to get to uh, consistent results, right? But you have to stay consistent because if you're not, it's gonna be like restarting that whole thing all over again. So say that you go heavy and then you stay consistent on your calls and in lead generation for 30 days, boom, 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 boom. Now what you've done is stack your leads uh, to a degree, right? But it's 30 days of cushion. Now, if you stop that and then you don't continue stacking the deck because you got no results or you got no contracts in through the door, you're gonna have to start all over again the next week. It just, you know, it works that way. You're not stacking, the, the, the stacking effect goes away if the consistency goes away. That's what's so magical about marketing. Um, next thing you know, you have a bunch of stuff that's in the pipeline that's ready for real solid conversations, but it took you a while to build those up. So if you're starting dry, it's gonna take you 60 75 days to really you know pick up the pace on something like that keep that in mind that's one so if you're not getting results within the first couple of weeks know that it's not empty actions what you're taking okay it's the stacking effect eventually you're gonna get to the point where your database is hot enough and the deals start popping so um, 
Big, big thing is to think about the consistency, all right? In order to stack the deck, you have to have consistency. If you stop after day 30th, you're gonna have to start all over again on day 45. It's just how it works, all right? So everything kind of crumbles. It's like a big, think about it as a, as a train, right? It's going and then you're adding wagons to the train. It's getting heavier and it's getting bigger and, and just more powerful. That's the same thing that happens when you stack the deck. Now, um, if you lack consistency and you drop the efforts after day 30, day 45, uh, it's the same thing as if you were starting from zero, all right? You start dry again. You have to build up the database. You have to start marketing all over, you know, again to these people. Uh, whatever hot leads you had at some point, they cooled down. Somebody else picked them up. Somebody else closed that deal because your follow-up wasn't there. Um, and you missed the opportunity that stacking the deck gives you, right? So if you want to open up the floodgate of deals, you have to stack the deck. It usually doesn't happen right out of the gate as you're uh, you know starting to to cold call and reach out to seller it hardly ever happens that way you may get you know one or two deals but for the constant flow of deals to take place you have to stack the deck all right you have to stay consistent with it and it's an it, the whole thing is like one single big effort all right you're not doing marketing sections once you start marketing it's like a continuous train that keeps going and going and going on forever uh, why because if you cut it out uh, you're gonna have to start all over again it, it resets the magic goes away um, and you lose whatever heat you had built up on your database. Keep that in mind, stack the deck, especially when you're generating leads and prospects and you're getting ready to have those conversations where you actually pitch a solution uh, to the sellers and get a deal through the line, all right? So stack the deck, keep that in mind and understand that it takes multiple contacts for somebody to feel comfortable uh, enough to the point where they're doing business with you. Stay focused, you got this.